Today we're going to be showing you how to do uh, Toyota and Lexus reflashing with the Auto Pro Pad. Um, so here are all the parts necessary for it. Obviously the main unit, the Auto Pro Pad. Uh, you're also going to need the main cable. Um, you do not need the OBD part that comes attached to it. This is what is underneath the main cable, so this is the part we're going to be using that plugs directly into the EEPROM adapter. So this is the EEPROM adapter. Um, this is uh, the PCB circuit board. This plugs directly into this side of the of the machine. There's a little opening right there where this clip plugs right into it, so we just put it in right in there. Um, here is our rainbow cable. Um, there is a 8-pin side and two individual 4-pin sides. We're going to plug the 8-pin side into the uh, PCB board. On the PCB board, there's three different slots. They're all for different things. Uh, on the very leftmost side is the side for 93XS, which, uh, uh, sorry, XX, is, which is for Toyota Lexus. So we're going to plug that the rainbow cable into this. This only plugs in one way. Uh, so plug it straight in there. Make sure that's in all the way. And then... Um, we take our auto pro pad cable and uh, this uh, this side plugs directly into the auto pro pad unit. So plug it in there, screw it in. And then we take the other side of our main cable and plug it directly into the EPROM adapter. And screw it in there. Now, um, the only part left is our blue Pomona clip. We're just going to take the uh, the two four pin sides of the uh, rainbow cable and make sure the clips on are facing the outside. It doesn't matter which side of the Pomona clip you put them on, as long as those clips are facing on the outside on both sides. And then uh, we always keep in mind that our brown cable, which is this one right here, is always going to be our first pin. So anyway, uh, let's go back to the main menu here. Whenever we are doing reflashings, uh, we're going to go to other services and then there is a section for EEPROM adapter so we're going to go ahead and select that also one more thing is you do require power uh, connected directly to the main cable in order for the uh, EEPROM adapter to receive power so we're going to take our 12 volt and plug it directly in as you can see the blue light came on on the EEPROM adapter so um, after we select EEPROM adapter on the auto pro pad we're going to go to data initialization. Uh, make sure the adapter is connected and powered on. The status light is turned on. Okay. And now we're going to select the type of vehicle we have. This uh, this is the ECU for a 1998 Toyota. Um, or sorry, Lexus ES3 uh, Lexus ES300. So we're actually going to select Lexus and uh, a mobile. Oh, actually, you know what? It's the same file regardless. So um, if for some reason Lexus doesn't have it in there, so we're just gonna select Toyota. Um, there's a few different options. The main two that we are going to be using is Toyota 16-bit, which is the virginize option, the three key option. You flash the car into think it's fresh off a lot and insert three keys to program. Or there's the Toyota ready to start, which is uh, it sends data into the ECU think, uh, to have it already have pre-programmed uh, chips with a specific data which we sell which are these two right here. We also have one for the Lexus short uh, I only have the Lexus long right now, but there is one for the Lexus short and here's the the TR 47 Which is for the Toyotas um, So these these keys have a set data on them that will work with this Toyota ready to start file But right now we're gonna go ahead and do the Toyota 16 bit so we take our Pomona clip and uh, on the the ECU there's a chip named the IC900, which is this chip right here. Uh, there's a small indentation, you might not be able to see it, uh, that indicates where the first pin is going to be. It's on the bottom left right here. It's a, just a small divot inside the chip. So we're gonna line up our, our brown wire to match with that. As I said, the brown wire is the first pin. Oh, sorry, wrong one. I'll just stick right on there. So now that we have it connected, we're just going to select Toyota 16-bit, and we're going to name the file. This backs up the data that is currently on the ECU. That way, should the file get corrupted 
or if something goes wrong, you can always flash back to what the ECU originally had. So I'm just gonna name the file test and uh, we're gonna hit okay. So now it's backed up. It's asking us if we wanna edit the current file that it has on there, we do not. So we're gonna hit no. And then uh, it says the file is saved uh, and whether we wanna to continue to reflash the machine with the, the new file, we hit yes. And initializing the data just basically means it's flashing the data. Data initialized successfully, it successfully flashed the unit. So we're gonna hit okay. So now we would install our, our unit back into our car and uh, just uh, do the regular procedure.